Hello everybody once again, this is Akabakazu. Welcome back to another Knowing Your Skills video. This week we will talk about Brave, for those waiting for Steel, Magic and Shaw Relic, Lawyer Exchange Drop from Sane back to Inquisitor, and Starkey is unavailable this week, so this two will need to wait for next week, sorry about that, and I deeply apologize. Nevertheless, I believe many Swordmasters are wondering how they can utilize Brave to its best potential. In this video, we'll talk about whether level 1 or level 5 Brave is better suited for your playstyle or class, we will also share with you the basics of how you can use it in PvP as well as some ways where you can use it as a counter. So, level 1 or level 5? For PvE, there's no doubt that you must get level 5. Level 1 gives you 7 seconds and 25% increase in damage, level 5 gives you 11 seconds and still 25% increase in damage, but in the future with level 6, you get 30% increase in damage for 60 cap. The growth rate of 1 seconds per level may not be that great, but having Brave for 11 seconds gives you enough time to train at least 4 core DPS skills for both Gladiator and Moonlords. And this definitely helps in burst damage since party buffs like Beyond Time also last for 11 seconds at level 2. For PvP, it's a totally different story altogether as the damage buff duration is much shorter and the possible of only 25% super armor attack power reduction debuff on the target is available. At level 1, it is 3.5 seconds and at level 5, which is the maximum attainable level for 50 cam, it is 5.5 seconds. Most people will say that longer is definitely better, but for pure PvP builds, especially for gladiators who are going for hybrid with max level Moonlight Splitter and Cyclone Slash, may want to consider level 1. Gladiator core DPS skills also have shorter casting time compared to Moonlords, though you might want to get max level if you're not going for max level Moonlight Splitter together with Cyclone Slash. Video footage will show you why level 1 with 3.5 seconds is enough for DPS combo even with Provoking Slam and Evasion Slash included. For Moonlords, I'll suggest getting level 5 if relying on Cyclone Slash and Wombblade Dance DPS combo. 3.5 seconds is too short for Cyclone Slash chaining into Provoking Slam, into Brave, and then Moonblade Dance. For those wondering about the Super Armor Attack Power Reduction at level 5, 25% SA reduction is useless. You can't use it to tank Crisis Howl, and even when the debuff is on your opponent, with both of you casting Rising Slash, it will not work as in level 6 Eclipse before 450 mark patch, we had 30% SA debuff instead of 25%. At 60 cap however, with level 6 Brave possible, then you might want to consider getting the 30% SA debuff. Bear in mind that the duration of SA debuff is 8.5 seconds regardless of level and it is 0.6 seconds higher than Eclipse for 450 mark. In summary, pure PvP build gladiators can do with level 1 Brave, but Moonlords might want to go for level 5 for 50 cap. When level 60 cap is here, I'll suggest getting at least level 6 Brave for PvP where the SA debuff will actually be useful at 30%. We will now move on to the basic methods you can do to incorporate Brave in PvP. Here's what the video footage will be showing shortly. 1. Basic usage with Cyclone Slash 2. Side sweep wall combo usage 3. Brave into Impact Punch like Eclipse into Impact Punch 4. Using it as a rear pickup like Storm for Mercenary 5. Using it as a knockdown And last but not least, Triple Slash EX combo with Lion Drive And here's where you'll see why Gladiators only need 3.5 seconds to carry out this DPS combo. I'll now move on to sharing a few situations where Brave can be used as a counter. The first will be to show the concept where Brave can be used to catch jumping opponents. Using this same concept, we can use it to counter opponents in aerial combo and the second portion of Rising Slash. Other situations are definitely worth exploring that I have yet to test or discover against other classes. 
One such situation could be the cancelling of short casting version of Justice Crash as they require the jump, and definitely many others to find out as well. Well, that's all for the basics for Brave, and I hope this video sharing is once again useful to all Sword Masters in deciding if they should go for level 1 or level 5 Brave for level 50 cap. I'm gonna give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today, and as always, thanks for watching. Next week for knowing your skills, I promise that you'll definitely be Steel Magic and Shock of Relic, so you understanding and sorry about it. Check out last week's video of knowing your skills about Love Virus and Heal Shower if you haven't. God bless once again, and I'll see you guys next time.